members of council, if you can uh, waive the time limit. I think I'm going to go over by about two minutes. If you can suspend the rule for me, please. I know I'm the last speaker, that's why I'm asking. Motion to suspend the rule. Second. Ruben Reyes? Yes. Susan Matarez? Yes. Alejandro Garcia? Aye. Julio Cesar? And Iván Colombia? Yes. The TPAC talks 
debates and says these are the projects we're going to move forward, brings it up to the board, and then the board takes action. That's it. So don't try to make all the items look dumb when you say it's a trifecta because there's no three parts to the MPO, just two. Okay? Because when you say comments like that, you look dumb. I'm asking you, do your homework before you get into this mic and spew your lies. Because it's just fallacies. And I'm tired of that. I represented this city. I gave it my all. All these projects you've done because of me and council. I had the knowledge, I saw what needed to be done, and I posted it on this agenda. Now, I'm going to tell you with all confidence, I can tell you. If anybody can read this and you can look at it, right here it tells you the name of who brings it up. And I can tell you, you can do an open, uh, open records request and put my name. And you will see everything I have brought to this council. Everything. And I can put all of you together and I have brought still more than all of you combined. Okay? So I was a good representative. Stop putting a new agreement. I am very disappointed also because I did call Ms. Villalobos on December 13th at 5 37 p.m. And I called her, and the call lasted for a minute and three seconds. Right there. Okay? And I called her to wish her a speedy recovery. I don't know why people keep saying my name and then I'm mean. Just because I walked away doesn't make me a bad person. I still call each and every one of you to say, how are you doing? Just like Ms. Villalobos, because I know she's ill. And yet she didn't want to pick up the phone, but I left her a message. It's right there. Okay? Don't be putting my name under it because I've done more, and if I was still there, I would continue to do more. Under me and the council is there, and I want people to understand. I may have brought the agenda items, but I couldn't do it all by myself because I had council to vote for it. But there were good projects, that's why we got it done. We did over 135 overlays. We repaired streets. We did sidewalk programs. And you guys this year, actually last year, you guys had a war on it to continue that program. I started. I called Mr. Nevados. I said, hey, continue it, please. He says, you got it. Because he understands the need. So please, stop bickering. Stop bickering and whining like little kids. And stop doing that. Because you know what? We have moved the city forward. I'm just asking you to move it. Continue moving it forward. It's so sad. It's so sad. Instead of me coming here and give you praises, I have to come in and defend my name. Because you guys take it upon yourselves and say, oh, well, we're going to lay it on so and so. But you know what? It's all documented of what I've done. Okay? One more time. It's easy for you guys to get your new mics and say whatever you want to say. Or if I say it to my face, one more time. Don't do that. Because every time, I don't want to come and tell you you're alive. Work together. Work together. If I've called you dumb or stupid, hey, I have a reason to. Don't give me one. Okay? I've been sitting there for seven years and I have been ridiculed. And never have I called out people. Never. Because it's my responsibility when I was sitting there to take it. Because they have genuine concerns. So take it. And be better. Work together to continue moving the projects forward. It's easy. But you guys have to work together. I didn't like some of the council members. But nevertheless, I worked with them. Just like the MPO, 30 members. And I moved all my projects forward, didn't I? Yes, I did. So don't tell me that I didn't do my job. 
Because I pour my heart and soul to the city. And I continue to do it. And I will continue to do it. People tend to forget. Okay? People tend to forget. And this is something that people don't know. And this is something personal. Very personal. Tuesday, August 20th of 2019, I was at a meeting with Ms. Rolandica's office and our chief of police. And I got a text. And I was in a meeting. And my phone was ringing and ringing. The text came out and said, Mijo, urgent, urgent. Hablame porque su mamá y su papá necesita. It's right there. Okay? That's the day they murdered my brother. Okay? So when you want to say that I stepped away from the NPO because I missed two meetings, oh my God. I had other big things to worry about. Okay? So forgive me if they murdered my brother. So if you're going to throw that to my face, I at least know why I didn't show up for two meetings. Now, if you lost, if you lost that church because you missed the other meetings, so don't pin that crap on me. Because I had my brother's bed to worry about. What did you have? Oh, I had to wake up? Oh, I had to go to the store? So don't come here one more time. Those are the truths. Those are the facts. Google it. It made news in my mom's city. Garden City, Kansas. Okay? That's why I walked away from my campaign. That's why. And only a few people know that. So I'm going to say it one more time. I will continue to fight for my city. I hope you do the same. Don't give me an excuse to be here to ridicule you, to call you on your lies, to call you dumb. Don't. I'm just asking you, work together to move the city forward. Please. I don't need to hear you guys talk about anybody. I need you guys to work together. I think that Mr. Rudy Cruz would do a good job. Why? Because he knows the same exact people that I know at the NPO. Okay? You can't come out and say, oh, because you know you have dinner with them. I have lunch and dinner with him too. I don't know their house, it's different. Maybe he does. But it doesn't matter if he has other things he wants to pursue. That doesn't matter. What it matters is he's gonna be there, let him do what he has to do and bring projects to the NPO so it will better the residents of the city of Sikor. You don't have to throw all of that. You could do a better fight. You could have stayed at the NPO. But you just don't throw that because, oh, because of this. No. Fight for it. Fight for it. You know? But like I said, if you are only as good if you get along with each other. I called this the other host. I already told you. And I'm going to put it on the podcast because I know people are going to come out and say, oh, it's not true. I'm going to put it and put it there so that people can see it on my Bible podcast. And then bang. Why? So that people can know that what I'm saying right now is the truth. I just want to tell you one more time to stop that. Move forward. Please work together. Start making more projects. Look at stuff. You guys said if there's no money, trust me, there's money. I heard that too. And I'm gonna get upset too. Mr. I don't know. We've we've argued because of projects. But I found the will, because I, I had the, I found the way because I had the will and the knowledge. Come on, guys. This is the last time I'm going to come here. This is the last time. Trust me. 
that I'm going to come out here and voice the way I'm going to talk with you guys. Because I, I, I mean no disrespect. I will defend myself. I will tell you my peace of mind. But I'm going to say this. This is the first time that I am doing it this way. But it will be the last. Next time I'll be a little more cordial. I'll be a little bit more, you know, unimpressive. But I will say this. I don't want to be here next time. I want to be here coming kind of next time tell you, hey guys, you want me to do this? What about this? Okay? I don't want to be here telling you your lies. And we're closing that with six. I just, I just hope you guys work together. I've repeated myself so many times with that. Work together. You have a great staff. Really? All that institutional knowledge from uh, Mr. Greta, from Adriana, uh, I don't know. Um, but, but everybody else, Charlie, uh, Mr. Cristiano, sorry Charlie for saying your birthday, but you guys, you know, he's a singer, so I think I can say Mr. Charlie, but, but everybody has this great institutional knowledge. Plug their, their thoughts. You know, hey, this is what we can do. I did. You guys can too. Just work together. Man, I'm still waiting on your call. I will. I'll call you. Um, but guys, I'm gonna leave you with this. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not a bad guy. May have this bigger voice and, and I'm a bigger guy, but I'm really not a bad guy. Just work together, guys. Just work together to move the city forward. You have the staff. You have the staff to do it. You know? I just hope, I just hope you guys move forward. Really. And I just want to say thank you guys for allowing me the extra time to just spew it out there. But like I said, it's the last time. I want to say this. I just, I'm just frustrated because I'm going through a lot. I'm emotional because I'm talking for the first time publicly about my brother. So I am a little bit emotional. Because I still can't get over it because I miss my brother. But just move this here for me, guys. Thank you. And get a new microphone. Man.
just want to say that uh, offer you my sincere condolences on your brother's passing. Um, I hope you take it. I, I'm, I'm very sincere about that. Um, and I will call you. We will probably maybe go to lunch, hopefully. <laughs> and I'd like to speak to you about the MPO as well. Thank you. May I have some more speakers? Moving on to consent agenda. Motion to consent agenda. Second. Ruben Reyes? Yes. Sister Nevarez? Yes. Alejandro Garcia? Aye. Rudy Cruz de Salsa and Nevarez Villalobos? Yes. Moving on to regular agenda, ordinances 